welcome back to my channel today i will be unboxing a teases uh, second mini album treasure uh, episode two zero to one so um i finally got it actually this was actually supposed to come to me on tuesday on the 18th today is the 22nd that i'm filming it but my mailman decided not to ring my doorbell or knock on the door so i couldn't sign for it so I couldn't get it and then I couldn't get it on Monday because it was Martin Luther King Jr. day and so the post office was closed and I finally got it today but yeah anyways so I ordered it from ktownforyou.com and they were having a promotion where you would get a special postcard if you pre-ordered it so this is what it looks like. And then let's get started. So this is what the front looks like. It's same packaging as their first mini album and here's the back this you guys say my name such a great song I love this comeback so much um, yeah I don't know this entire album is actually extremely good too Oh, I think I saw photo cards. Yep, photo card. Photo card, anything else? Okay. Let's just get those out of the way. And maybe here. Let's go through the photo book first. But anyways, like I was saying, um, Say My Name is such a great comeback. I love the song so much and the rest of the album too is great except I haven't heard from yet since it is on the CD only after say my name desire is actually my second favorite or my favorite b-side that they have I love Desire so much. When I heard the album preview and when um, Desire came up, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna love this song for sure. And what do you know? I did. So um, if you haven't listened to the album yet, go listen to it. 100% recommend. I don't really have any complaints about the album except for Say My Name. I feel like there's something missing. I don't know. I feel like the bass isn't as loud or heavy as it could be. I feel like if they turned up the bass just just a little bit more, I would like it like a lot more. But as it is right now, it's still a really great song. And the live stages that they've done so far are amazing. I love their stage presence. Especially Hong Jun, my bias. I feel like he gives me a very Taeyong from NCT vibe. Like he has like that kind of stage presence, but he also has like the facial expressions of Jin Sol from Luna. If you've seen her live stages, I don't know. He's he's probably one of my new favorite performers of this era. But yeah, there he is. Except I hate his mullet. I will never like mullets on anyone. Tragic. I'm actually glad that Hala Hala wasn't the title track. I mean, it's a good song, but I definitely prefer Say My Name over it. I hope that they perform Desire once. Ah, here's my song. I love the song so much. I especially love Hong Joong's rapping part towards the end. That part gets me hype so much. And if you haven't heard it, right before he does his rap, he does a little like laugh thing. <laughs> and that's like his, sig his signature thing to do. And I think it's so cute. And then he just spits fire after laughing all cute. 
I don't know. And then after he raps, the like instrumental breakdown gets me hype so much. Um, sorry if you can hear other voices. But yeah, I, w I hope that Desire gets at least some kind of live performance from somewhere. I love these pictures, by the way. When I saw these um, teaser pictures, I was like, ooh, a lot better than the Yeehaw Cowboy ones. But as for Say My Name, there's a lot of parts uh, choreography wise that I like. I really love the the walking part. You, you, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I'll insert it here. But I love when they do that part. And then I also love when they do the second chorus, when they, they do like the kangaroo bunny hop thing, kind of like in what um, 101 Triple Position did for their song. They did like a little bunny hop thing. I'll also insert that here. But yeah, I just love the performance of Say My Name. AT's really killed it, this comeback. And that is the end of the flow book. Next is um, well, here's the CD. Then I guess these are just like postcards. Oh, calendar postcards. Ooh, I, I'm glad that they went with these pictures. Even though I probably won't ever use these. But yeah, if you're thinking about it, Go support them. I actually never thought about even looking into them when they first debuted, but I checked out their comeback on a whim. And I love Treasure. I, I love Treasure more than Pirate King. But yeah, so then I bought their album, their first mini album. And then when they were released their comeback news, I was like, oh crap, I guess I gotta stand now. And so I think I consider myself an A-Tiny. I think that's their fandom name. But I still have yet to memorize everyone except for Hongun and Mingi. Oh, here are our stickers. And then lastly is this, which I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a poster. Okay, well, I'll show that at the end. But next is all left is my photo cards. So the very first photo card I got is oh gosh, this is Mingi, right? I think so. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'll fix the name. But yeah, here's one photo card. Next is this. Oh, just like in the first mini album, they did like this map thing. I'm guessing the last one is a group one. Yep. E. Oh, 
other oops I'm guessing the Oswald treasure Does it say U? So I have EU and a map. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Go stand. Here's the folded poster that came in the album. So here's the front and then this is the back. Here's an overview of everything that came in. So um, Say My Name is 100% a great comeback song. So go support them, go buy the album, go watch their live stages because they are great. They are great performers. I'm looking forward to what they release in the future. And thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>